Virgos. <laughs> Y'all must be going through it out here. Lord have mercy. Oh my goodness. What's going on, Virgos? Oh, Lord, honey. Oh, baby. Whether or not something, y'all gotta move on from something. Y'all wanna know what the fuck. Y'all, I'm telling you, motherfuckers, man, shit. They gonna learn. They gonna learn to quit thinking they know people just cause something ruled by something. Oh, okay, so because we ruled by the Hermit card and everybody knows how to act like they don't. When Virgos be ready to get the fuck on, they be ready to get the fuck on. Mm -mm, no, sit in the house or ass. Or, you know, we're like we content with any situation. Like, no. We just know how to adjust and make the best out of fucked up situations. However, when we be feeling like, okay, this ain't my final resting place kind of shit. But ain't nothing shaking to show you. It's kind of like being in between... You know something's going to happen, but nothing is happening. And it's taking longer than you expected for something to happen. And you know this ain't your final destination. You know that. So that's one thing that's keeping you cool. You know this this, this ain't my final destination. And then some of y'all saying, or is it? Somebody meddling. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. Just can't be all right, you know. God forbid. It's some of y'all mere presence that makes somebody want to kill themselves. I ain't lying. They hate you that much. It makes them want to jump. But why would they keep watching you if it's like that? Some people like that is what got y'all in this stalemate wherever y'all at. Some of y'all know that. Like, on some, but I'm knowing. Who is it, Virgo? Y'all, y'all know. Some of y'all can't even believe it. Like, you know, like, what? Can I move on, Harvey? What the fuck is going on? Somebody may have took some money from you, took some opportunities from you. You oblivious kind of shit, which makes it even more fucked up. But not really, because it's low-key amusing to you, because you know we get that curious side. What the hell is going to play out with kind of shit? You know, your entry keeps you motivated. Keep having a private party, honey. They want y'all like this, but this not how y'all are. No, no, no. It's more frustration than worry and anxiety. They failed. They epically failed. These people thought they was going to have y'all in worry and anxiety because Virgo's the real worry. You can't see it like, no, see, that's that bullshit. No. Frustrated, ready to go. Game plan been on. Been to what you wanted to do, magician. Hello, somebody. Quit speaking for people. If you a cross watcher, Carmen, quit speaking for people. You won't want nobody to speak it for your motherfucking ass. Quit speaking for people just because they don't talk much. Kind of shit. Shit. Yeah, man, they just, this is what they do. This is what they do, Virgo, y'all know that. Y'all stand y'all magic, y'all really do. Because y'all already be knowing. <laughs> y'all already be knowing. Y'all already be knowing, boy. Ain't never heard them. Hey, listen, listen. I done mastered my craft. I'm a social butterfly when I want to be. You're not about to kiss. Listen, you're not about to keep me on no drag trying to make people think I'm this hermit recluse. These people are selling lies. 
And this thing got y'all, a lot of y'all fucked up for real. Well, y'all just thought it was like a natural occurrence. But no, I don't even know some weird shit where a motherfucker is just fixated and obsessed about you, your life, everything on some single white female shit. But it could possibly be a woman and, or a man or both. It could be a lot of the same type of archetype that just got it out for you kind of shit. Obsessed. Just make people devils come out. But you just sitting just like this. Make their devils start going crazy. Try to hide it. Uh -uh. Like that. Like Jesus. What he say? He's a magic man. This and that. And Jesus ain't do nothing but show up to the party. He ain't did none of this. He ain't got nothing in his hand up to the sky and all that. He just showed up. That's why I said you stay in your magic. Whatever makes you magical, which is you being you, people don't like that. You irritate their demons. You really do. And you'll be like, on some, I'm sorry. I don't mean to do that. For real. That's what makes it weird. Feel sorry for them even. You will feel sorry for them. If their fortune got fucked up because they gave over to the devil, the world. Whoever these persons is, y'all y'all fucked with them like that. It makes you sad that you know their fate is hell because they sold they soul to the devil. All the way sold out to the world. Y'all could have came up and went to church together, mosque together, temple together. It doesn't matter. Sold out to the devil. Like, damn. Put y'all straight like this. Y'all had love for whoever these people are. But ain't nothing you can do. Could up to could be up to three people. Three people. The spirit saying up to three people. Y'all know who. Y'all was cool with them though. Where to make you sad because you know their fortune is about to be fucked up. They gotta read what they saw what they did to me. Ain't nothing you could do about it. Hella secrets. Hella moon magic. Hella insecurity. You cause this person to be insecure. Who you are naturally causes them to be insecure. What the fuck can you... This, what the fuck? Don't go to the party. Basically. And telling people y'all unstable, deception, lying, saying you, like, if you do any type of uh, spiritual work, saying you be hallucinating, saying it's your intuition. I mean, just telling them a bunch of ambiguous ass lies kind of shit. Honey, whoever bought it, shame on them kind of shit. Y'all been waiting for them ships to come in, waiting for them ships to come in, waiting for them ships to come in. Some of y'all been waiting for a, a little minute, at least three to five years. If not longer than that, Virgo. Somebody keep taking, <laughs> blocking your blessings, basically. Blatantly is what Spirit said. Blocking your blessings blatantly. Wow. Wow. Coming right up on defeating the devil. Defeat came up on the devil. Defeat came up on Will of Fortune. That's why y'all just sitting here on y'all high horse because you ain't did shit. If who I am makes it irritate your demon to the point where you start attacking my life and blocking my opportunities, and if I'm related to you or if I grew up with you, I didn't have a choice. Like, what, you're, what you've become is not my issue. It's your issue. I feel sorry for you type of situation. Y'all may come from the same stock. You know, siblings, cousins, something. Y'all was cool. Could have been a friend. I was like a brother or sister. Whatever the case may be, they moving the fuck away from you. Far as east is from west far as north is from south and what's so sad about it y'all will never see some of these people ever again but some of y'all are sad y'all gonna be sad about that it's like having to grieve you know like my therapist told me you you ain't grieve all that stuff you lost 
I never thought that you would have to grieve a car or a house, but y'all may have been going through that kind of shit too. You just a resilient motherfucker where you want your life a certain type of way. And if you don't put spirit shit blatantly disrespecting your whole ass life, everything you do, they disrespect it, undo it, you know, sabotage it. You don't know that. You just keep on building, rebuilding, rebuilding, rebuying, re move here. Okay, I'm fine here. You get two years, and the next thing you know, you got to move again. You get two years in the car, the next thing you know, it's time for something else to happen, or you get sold, or you got to get a repo to something. Just, you get another one. You just keep on. Your, your comeback is crazy. But it's been gotten to the point where what they've been doing has finally caught up to you. Cause shit ain't moving. It took COVID. Cause it's possibly these motherfuckers could have just kept going and going and going. Y'all ancestors said no, had me, had me turned it upside down. Peaceful resolution, moving on, compromise, communication, ending conflict. Enough. Somebody done got in their ear and told them enough. Whether it's the police or like, you know, elders or something in y'all family, you know, just somebody that they would listen to to say not listen. We don't watch you do this shit. You've been doing this shit. Now go the fuck here. I don't care the situation. I'm telling you, it's fucked up what I'm picking up. But y'all life gonna come together when this person get the fuck away from you. You know? They don't want to move away from you. Keep denying what they're doing. Keep lying. And y'all waiting for y'all ships to come in. And sometimes they did, but it's just like... This motherfucker been doing this shit behind your back for so long, like sabotaging everything you do. It's weird. If you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? Back up on, man. Yeah. They got to get away from you. That Pisces and Saturn? Yeah. Let's go show them some. They can't hang out. Y'all can't eat with them. Abandonment. Abandonment of plans. Whatever plan they have for your life, it's, it's a no-go. Whatever plan, like the type of motherfuckers that be like, all right, this is what they were plan was. All right, I'm tired of fucking with her. I'm tired of fucking with him. I'm tired of sabotaging him. I'm tired of doing this. This is boring now. All right. Let me just try to see what my problem is. They ran out of time. When they decided to turn in, it was too late. They had been doing so much shit against you. It was too motherfucking late. They thought they was just able to do that and they didn't have to reap from all of the shit that you didn't know that they was doing because they knew they could not block you but for so long because you're so fucking resilient. Their whole game plan was to say, okay, she gonna be on in a minute. He gonna be on in a minute. I'm talking about, damn, like really? Some of y'all could have been dealing with an Aries, honey, when I say. They was thought they was about to be like this off of you. Because you wasn't going to be hip to what they were doing. This person going to be in the hellfires. For real. Because everything is manipulation. Even I'm about to stop fucking with him or her. Now I'm about to try to see what I can do to make me stop being envious of this person. Stop being obsessed about this person. Let me get back to myself kind of situation. But ran out of motherfucking time. And the only reason they... Gave the ghost up and said, you know, stop because they wanted to benefit from where you were going. Like, okay, now I can be sent fat with her after I done did all this shit. Basically set you back. Most of y'all more than likely was supposed to be living nice like four years ago kind of shit. If you're struggling financially in a weird-ass transitory situation where you don't even know what the fuck about to happen, whether you're going to be here, whether you're going to be there, what the fuck is this? I This ain't nothing I would even plan kind of shit because it wasn't you planning. This motherfucker's planning on you. You were supposed to be straight where you wouldn't even be thinking about moving. You would have your man, your child, your money, somewhere to sleep right now or on a motherfucking vacation that you could afford four years ago. Y'all be taking people friends and family they're not. Y'all ain't gonna see them no more. They can't stomach it. The lies they told that they little plan didn't work out. They Scooby-Doo didn't work out. It was them the whole time, you know. You tell this person something, the person goes and tells somebody else. Whoever your enemy is, 
these motherfuckers is so crazy. They'll tell people if you meet somebody new, man or woman, Virgo, they're going to tell them something about you to turn that person off. And then because they're, you're close to them and you really think these your people, you just talking. Be yourself. They go and tell whoever your enemy is now, which would possibly be an ex, a ex lover, or a friend posing as a friend. It's really a foe. They know that. They can see they self and people, this type of energy. For real. Even if they're in, the, in your family, they know your friends is fake. They know the men in your life that's fake. That's why they go right away telling them shit about you. Which is really fucked up. Because, bitch, let me fan out they fake. You ain't gonna go saying shit. I'm just having a good time anyway. Right, Virgo? Where's the exit kind of shit? Like, you like you don't have eyes of your own. Like, you can't peep your enemy. This motherfucker was your enemy and know how to peep the enemy and other people that you think are lovers and friends. So, possibly a family member. Somebody close. Really weird, right? But they do run into that on a mountain. I'm telling you. And then they start working with somebody else. Uh, King of Cups energy. Pisces, Scorpio, or um, Cancer. Some of y'all possibly got a sibling or somebody that was close like a sibling. That's a Queen of Wands energy. Or a brother. That's a King of Cups energy. Either way, those are enemies of y'all. So y'all know who the fuck it is. Either Aries, Sag... Aries, Sag, or Leo, feminine energy, or a water sign, masculine energy that operates like a female. That's how much gossiping and talking they do. Give me some more. Oh, tell me more about her. Tell me more about him. Motherfuckers all dated. This is like they swap information about you. What she do to you? How her skin felt when you touched it? How his penis was kind of shit. Weird, man. Weird. It just keeps on and on and on and on and on. I ain't no telling where some of these people going into, Virgo. Some of y'all got fathers and mothers that back y'all 110% and had to hide a lot of shit. Like a lot. I'm talking about a lot. On some hell back enough shit through their prayers and their 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 kind of low key wisdom, but I would I would want to know. I ain't gonna cap, but they basically wanted you to be able to live your life. Whoever this motherfucker was wouldn't have allowed you to have the decent life you've had thus far, kind of shit. But now you're getting pissed because you're seeing. Okay, I don't have really no control over my own life. What the fuck is going on? Who's holding some strings pulling me back? What the fuck? Find the situation. Because when Virgo be ready to go, Virgo be ready to go. And if you don't let Virgo go, you're going to see another sad that you don't. That they don't serial killer shit. But not killing nobody, no whole bunch of motherfuckers. No, you. Well, you ain't a serial killer. You feel me? Let me go. What you mean? That's that get kidnapped by a motherfucker is a serial killer. And you show the serial killer, you should have picked up somebody else. And I wish you would stop doing this, period, kind of shit. But when I say I'm ready to go, I'm ready to go. And if you don't act it out physically, you have the mind power to fuck up people's world if they hold you hostage or captive somewhere. I'm telling you, Virgos is the type of motherfuckers... That if you hold them against their will and it's not right, it's unlawful and it's unjust, Virgo's whole being will fuck up a facility where a motherfucker will want to get you the fuck out of there. And it's not that you would be trying to hurt nobody or nothing. Your presence, because you, you, they did wrong. And you're going to cause that motherfucker a tower. People that mishandle Virgos and you think you got to hold on and hold them captive and shit, that's a bad idea. Because they're going to come out. Don't corner. Don't push no. Ooh, don't push no Virgo in no corner. You don't want to do that. 
You don't want to do that. The flip out would be crazy. People just underestimated you. Uh-huh. Some of y'all almost there. Like, okay. Because you ain't got what you you ain't got the shit that you need. Shit that keep you cool. Cause you it, it don't you don't require much. When motherfuckers take the little bit that Virgos don't require, that's when you see the other side of Virgo. And you ain't gonna like that too much. For real. Especially if I ain't do it. Oh man. You uh, <laughs> baby. Baby. <laughs> Stay bad to your hospital, your mental ward, your motherfucking prison, bitch. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying. <laughs> Virgo's going to get loose. You hear me? I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Virgo. They try to get it together. They going to have to. I'm telling you. You ain't did shit. You ain't did shit. They going to have to get it together real fast. The word going to go forth to get you moved, to do something. I'm trying to tell you. It's like they be wanting to know the secrets of Virgo. And then when they see, you know, certain shit, they be wondering if you don't speak on it, then they won't know. But I'm speaking on it here today, so motherfuckers do know that it is one of the secrets of Virgo. Well, how did they make the serial killer list? What did they say about them? They don't like certain shit. And that's why I think that a lot of Virgos, if they were serial killers, and that ain't to be, you know, diminishing the hurt and pain connected to murder. However, it's a, it's a, it's a, I'm sick of this shit type of thing, you know, on some, I can see where God would say, I can see why you did that. You know, it ain't where on a previous channel, I just posted, I uploaded, you can check it out if you want to, where I said, God is trying to understand the mind of a devil. You wouldn't have that. It wouldn't be like that. It would be like, oh, I see why, you know. It would be like Jason telling him why he killed the children at Camp Crystal Lake because it was a Christian camp and they was acting like they was holier than all and this and that and they felt like they looked better than me and they sinning and they doing all this stuff. But this is a Christian camp kind of situation. <laughs> and God like, okay, I understand, but you can't redo it that Jason. <laughs> Virgos that don't that ain't taking it there, they got all the sense in the world, ain't taking it there. They will tsunami your motherfucking facilities and shit. If they ain't do it, they ain't gonna touch nobody. Just sitting there, just like this. She going on. Um, she going down, Brown. She going down, Brown. That's why I always try to keep it high vibe when I get locked up in the mental spots, cause I know the damage that I could do. And I, I mean, for what? I'm trying to see what the fuck is going on so I can get to the root of this shit. And why do people keep on putting me in here? What the fuck is their problem, kind of shit? And why the fuck y'all keep banning me? Because I am going to turn this bitch out. I may be positive, but I'm going to turn it out. Every, you know, I go in and out. I really do. I really do. In and out, in and out, because you dead wrong. That's why. You know, God understands looking at me while I'm going off on you kind of situation, you know? He don't understand some of these people's psyches looking into it like, what's wrong with you kind of situation? I understand why that person did that. But why are you doing that? It makes no sense. Hello? Just destroying this. Just destroying this. Even the potential for it. And you got the free will and choice to have that if you want it. Hello, somebody. A lot said this too. Why are you fighting tooth and nail for somebody not to get that? And why do you feel like this once you've done something to prohibit them from getting that? You know, like real talk. <laughs> wow, that's crazy, great. Sometimes this, sometimes not. More this though. Some of y'all are dealing with a Pisces, more of that. And then sometimes this, in and out, in and out. A masculine energy. Why did I do that? They don't deserve that. But then do shit that you deserve that. Somebody is the root. It's a Pisces. That's the root of y'all suffering. 
y'all money suffering, y'all life moving forward. I'm telling you. And a queen of wands, energies, Aries, Leo, Sag. I ain't really picking up Leo, though. But it could be, you know. On the water sign, it could be a cancer. I'm telling you. Put y'all into apathy. It's nowhere else to go. That's why I'm telling people to practice being high vibe, even though your life looks sucky as fuck. Literally say, roll, roll, roll your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. So you don't take that shit. And it ends up prolonging your manifestation because you so apathetic. Don't give a fuck. You know, drinking and shit. For real. I ain't talking about no damn channeling and no libations. Literally. Like, what the fuck? Going into a depression. About to become an alcoholic. I'm an alcoholic now. Keep picking that shit up. Rise above it. Because people was just doing binding you, Virgo. So you wouldn't... They made... They so, these people are so crazy. They did so much witchcraft on you and did so much betrayal and so much backstabbing and they worked together on it and they watched to see how you suffer like some passion of the Christ shit. Soon as I said that passion, you know why. <laughs> Virgo. Hell no. <laughs> they end up tempering your gift for you. You know you didn't even have to, God, it's shit. For real. Oh, so Uncle Brucey, and you ain't even know you had to be Uncle Brucey. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, effortless with that shit. Weird. Them motherfuckers thought they was about to be conquering your ass when you was a young teenager candy shit. I'm telling you. Not even knowing what you're doing, though. This your back and forth, Virgo. I'm telling you. <laughs> I see you coming. Poor you. Oh my God. Why are you doing this? You're going to be in hell. I see you. Stop that. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm praying for you because you're going to be in hell. Keep coming for me. <laughs> I'm not coming for you. Okay. <laughs> Virgo. Hell no. Hmm. Some of these people moving on, laying it to rest. News is, I mean, it's like some of y'all been in prison. Like people been trying to get to y'all. Fuck with y'all on the business side. Fuck with y'all on the relationship side. But it's like people blocking people from getting to you. You know, I ain't lying. Crazy. The people don't work y'all in their budget, but they ain't able to get to you because you got so many people blocking people that want to fuck with you heavy, Virgo. And you sound weird, they want you to think that don't nobody your phone ain't ringing. Some of your platforms is looking kind of crazy, motherfucking shit just ain't you know coming together like you would like. And depending on your level of uh, not even level, depending on your assignment. The least, if you're really good at what you do and you can't get nobody to acknowledge it, you got a high, you got a higher calling on your life like a motherfucker. They want you there though. They want you thinking like, you know, even Virgos that got into a decent situation, like you like where you live, everything, you know something lingering around, alligators walking kind of shit while you still be trying to get your, this shit about to stop. Because some of these people have been harassing y'all for so long. And some of y'all was already going through what I'm talking about. Got light of it and God moved you to a better environment because you wouldn't be able to handle with some Virgos that got an even higher calling than you are going through right now. Such as my motherfucking self. For real. People want to fuck with you, Virgo. They just, I, they fucking with you. People around you fucking with you and to say no you making it up when you call it that triggers a Virgo too I mean oh 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 really okay we'll see what the fuck is made up 
kind of situation. Because all this shit going to come out in a motherfucking wash. You got people that literally, Virgo, got you in a budget or ready to do business with you. But you would think, you know, you know, you know, stuck in the basement, kidnapped, fucked up. You just going to work on yourself. You an alchemist by now. That's what I'm saying. Motherfuckers was tempering your gift and you couldn't even get to it your motherfucking self. For real. Going Uncle Brucey on them motherfuckers, man. I see you. Stop trying this shit. <laughs> you may be saying this out of your mouth, but I'm reading your mind right now and I have to go there because you will keep trying to play me like I'm not reading or picking up what the fuck I'm reading or picking up. Like, now I'm about to punch your motherfucking lights out. And then it become, you know, maybe I said it, maybe. Trying to like, for real, testing your skill set on the being able to read a motherfucker. Like, what? Like, where are you getting this info from that all Virgos know how to do that? Then you want to come test me now, kind of shit. Please tell me now so I can go get they ass. Man, been one y'all got the vision ready, honey. Made it plain, wrote it down, bought the house, honey. You don't know shit about it, Virgo. It sounds so far-fetched, but it ain't. If you were supposed to be living a certain life four years ago, and you ain't even aware of some of the shit that's going on, and you trying to figure out why is your life looking like this? Why is you stuck here? Why is you living here? Why don't you have nowhere to live? Why your car about to get took again, kind of shit? And somebody steadily already got life set up for you. I'm telling you, in a budget budget. You won't come into the knowledge of it because you don't know. But you make the best out of a fucked up situation all the time. Which is really dangerous to be able to do, you know. Because people will presume that you cool. You know, for real, because you just a vibe and it ain't fake. They don't smell fake on it. She seem to be doing all right. You know, these some people that may know what motherfuckers doing in your little community. Some shit you ready to be gone, be gone. If you move somehow, they pull you back kind of shit. A lot of these n niggas y'all fuck with, a lot of these no good men they ain't shit. Trifling. Honey, listen, you know Virgo ain't about to be regretful of shit a lot of times. Once we over it, we over. Yeah, we did that shit and don't bring it up no more. However, shouldn't have never let them motherfuckers do passion fruits. Telling you, then they crucify you because you the realest motherfucker they ever met and they ain't never gonna meet another motherfucker like you. They know that with the people that come telling them shit about you. They really want to punch them in the face kind of shit, but they end up taking they side. These is the motherfuckers that be in and up and out of the bed. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. She was a good person. Oh, look at me now. I'm getting her paper blocked kind of shit. Before they know it. Motherfuckers y'all grew up with King of Cups coming up on the community. I'm telling you. Some of y'all are able to get into this type of vibe where you can handle, not even handle, but be compatible with a fire sign energy. You know, you got the vibrancy. And I mean, hell, if you've been sitting up there working and can't get out and about, I guess you would be somewhat of a light bulb kind of shit. That order oil, you know, just anointing. Poor Virgo, 3359. Good. Honey. Hurry up and get us on that Jesus number. For they passion of the Christ or some more. Just our hands, Virgo. They putting their nails in it, driving it on some. When you just trying to do your job, you know. Establish business, trade, build your reputation, build your character, your integrity, work on your craft, do quality work, master and expertise your work. Call me Brian, these niggas, you know. Beyonce, these niggas, Michael Jackson, these niggas, but they can't stand it. And they really thought that they were going to be able to just turn and say, okay, we back her friend. Okay, this is the final time. Now we're back her friend. So she's going places. 
So listen, the no more witch spells and doing stuff to her and blocking her money and blocking her men. She's going to call in somebody. We don't know who it is, but it's going to be somebody really good. And she's good and he's good at what he does. Just imagine Kobe. See his life before he do. Kind of motherfuckers. Attack, 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 and then decide when they can smell him about to make the NBA. Because they already know how he cut kind of shit. Because they around. The communities are motherfuckers. Family. Now, let's be a family. And God forbid you told some of these motherfuckers you would look out for them and get on. Oh, they hold you to it. But Stanley Jason in your motherfucking ass. You supposed to keep... You supposed to... Honey, we'll see some of me. These Pisces motherfuckers. Mars, Aries motherfuckers. Bully types, vindictive. Scorpios, possibly. Vindictive. Vindictive. You belong to me. Taurus. Jay, watch. And curious about what? Just to get to more work on trying to stop your dreams? Why you just get better and better? Oozing sauce, juice, and swag? I'm just trying to understand, Virgo. And you ain't even the one to talk that way. But goddamn, why do I even have to say it? Misunderstood don't need to be explained. You steadily blocking me, old team workers of iniquity kind of shit. Capricorn, possibly vindictive. Cancers, possibly. Y'all thought y'all was choosing all this time. Y'all just made a lot of money. Y'all just gonna come into a lot of blessings that's gonna add up to what y'all was supposed to be. Some of y'all way longer than four years ago was supposed to be great. But people would just keep knocking you down unbeknownst to you that they were actually doing it. Some of y'all was equating that shit to just life happening. Some of y'all gonna have to leave where y'all live at. You know, middle of the night kind of shit. People want you to be able to make decisions whether you want to leave or go. They don't know. You like this with the shit. Red Ben. Like, it's making my stomach, like, hurt. It's, you, can I explain something? And I'm going to try to articulate this in the best possible way. However, it's dangerous to leave somebody like I have been left. And I'm going to tell you why. Because a person can die but not be dead. A person can die and be fully aware. It's a lot of people that they would consider gurus and stuff like that that's suffering like me. In a weird kind of way. Know how to detach. Ain't got no problem with non-attachment for real. Sometimes just slow it down so that you have something to do. Something to master. Because life is just so crazy. However, people doing that kind of shit to you, they don't they they don't know and they don't even really care for real. You know, it's just that y'all was working so long and thinking you was getting somewhere just because you don't require much. But you worked that much that you got this kind of shit. And some of these motherfuckers are so insane. That they would say they had a hand in it because of how they treated you, they tempered you, they helped you to be there. If we wouldn't have did that, she wouldn't have knew how to read people like us, can of shit. I won't worry about it, bro. Go. 
the mind space is really, really infantile, you know, arrested development, so to speak. But yeah, you can be like this, but look well. You could be like this and, you know, people wouldn't know. That's the danger in fucking with people that are kind of like pure and hard, you know, ready to go. Want teamwork, trying to make the dream work, ain't on no trash because you spend a lot of time not even proving to people, but kind of like reiterating, I'm not like her. I'm not like him. No, I just want to get to work. I don't have a hidden agenda. Here's your money. What you say you do. You keep your word. You, you're not out here on no funny business. If things get funny, it's because people is doing funny shit to you that you're unaware of, which would low-key diminish your life if people didn't know any better. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. This shit is dangerous. It really is. Mm-hmm. Holding you back from this. You know? And on some real shit, once all whatever this is that I'm feeling, were y'all ready to go? Y'all ready to go? Okay, I made up my mind. I'm done. What the fuck? What is all this? Y'all feel it. That's what makes it also dangerous. It could make somebody snap and go crazy. They, they like that kind of shit to do that to you. I don't know why. I really don't. Where they'll know you'll sense it, but they'll be doing it. You know? And then people ain't coming for you. You low-key trapped in a situation where you're in, you're looking unstable, but it's that type of picture that people want to paint of people. Everybody sign, it seems. Been telling a bunch of lies. Some signs just get fucked over and it's more dangerous than others because you would rather somebody just go ahead and kill... Like, it sounds harsh, but I would rather somebody had did that to Nipsey than what I have, what I go through on a daily basis. Because they don't go ahead and kill you. They do it. They do shit to your mental. They do shit to toy with your life. They, everything you lay down, they, when you try to move, they pull you back. I mean, it's, it's like a maze. And you know what they're doing. But you got to have enough discipline not to go and blow somebody's head off on the sidewalk because now you got to prove. They know that too. So they tread real light, like snakes. You know? I would keep my grass low if this is my property, but this grass is pretty high. If you keep your grass as high as this grass is that I'm looking at outside of this window, I mean, the, the amount of snakes you're around would be crazy. You wouldn't know. And it possibly could just be you don't cut grass. You know you're working on something else over here. It's been time to go. It's been go time for some of y'all. And it's a lot of Virgos possibly that died at the hands of people that went unnoticed, undetected, that they did it by antagonizing them on purpose. Slow death you. Wondering when are you going to figure it out since you're so intelligent? When are you going to turn around and figure out we're the ones doing it to you? Whether it's lovers, friends, posing, posers. It's really bad, Virgo. How are they dealing with boredom and isolation like that? How are they dealing with, you know, not having access to the money they usually would have access for since they're such hard workers? What's the, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a mine of serial killers. Go figure. Yeah. Like to see you, ooh, when they hear that shit, that you struggling because you tell them, like, girl, let me try to keep up with this shit, girl, my court, no, this and that, because you really don't talk about your business, but you've been talking about it and shit. They love that, like, like, motherfucking, listen, like Cheddar Bay Biscuits at Red Lobster, nigga. You hear me? Fresh out the oven. 
pumpernickel bread from Cheesecake Factory straight out the oven. Butter, baby. Love that shit. I'm telling you, it's the truth. It's the truth. Weird, honey, weird. Y'all just be alchemizing. And sometimes God will give y'all different stuff to do every day. Just to find so much fulfillment out of it. You don't got to share with Virgo. You know how you propose. You know how God cut you. But you about to have choices out in these streets. Something that's going to overwhelm the fuck out of you. You know? You will be sitting there holding the world in your hand. Observing it and looking at God's, you know, miraculousness. Not looking for your own. In People would pursue it, but they'd be wrong in They know you're going to get them something when you get your money. What money? What is they talking about? Who are these people, Virgo? What did they do? Leave it in the comment section if you locked in the basement somewhere, Virgo. I'm telling you, man. People will presume y'all good because y'all don't stop giving. You want a gift that don't stop giving. That's dangerous as fuck. Dangerous. Listen to me. Dangerous. Because you won't stop. And you will fucking drop dead still giving. And God ain't giving you no extra credit for that shit, Virgo. Where people don't even want to give you the money or donation and nothing like that because they feel so bad. So many people know what the fuck these motherfuckers was doing to you and acting like they didn't see shit. I'm telling you. Like God was like, make the investment in Virgo. What the fuck are you got these blindfolds up with your arms like that for? Why don't you uncrotch your arms, pick up your phone, and send the cash out? I see you got it. Kind of shit. These are weak people too, Virgo. They could have all the love in the world for you, but they're weak. You, what you've experienced, they have not. So you would see them as weak because they, they could give it to you, but they just choose not to based off of what's surrounding you unbeknownst to you. You don't know all these fucking stories behind you. And if you do, you Uncle Bruce lead to the shit. Because you've been dealing with these motherfuckers for so long with your hands tied behind your back still hitting shit out the park kind of shit. On some I can't stop. But it's giving back to humanity whatever the fuck it is that you do, Virgo. So who really wins at the end of the day? You know what I'm saying? This is would be Virgo and this would be a bunch of motherfuckers fighting to keep Virgo in a hole in a basement some motherfucking where. Who the fuck would bind up a gift that keeps on giving? You gotta be a group of fucking dumb nimcompoop ass schmucks. Like what? Understand abundance is God's. Understand I work to do this for God to help you and then you will help me to keep helping you. However, if you don't help me, then God will just help me. And even if I feel like God isn't here, I don't have a choice but to keep on operating out of my gifts how I was cut because I'm not going against the grain of how I was cut. Anytime you get motherfuckers that start accepting lies that go against the grain of their natural fucking brain waves. You're dealing with some weird baby roof under the fucking stairs need to be chained down type of motherfuckers. When you start accepting lies as truth and you like it, you sitting in a fucking wish fulfillment position, something the fuck wrong with you. Virgo's gonna be they self. They don't have time. Because you know why? Because if you try to be something other than yourself... Your nervous system start going crazy on you. You start shaking. Yo, now you got the bubble guts. Now you want to leave. Now you ain't never coming out the house no more, kind of shit. So you find yourself again, kind of shit. It's true. You 
You don't know how else to be. People do a lot of mental activity or play a lot of mental games with y'all because they be trying to switch up your brain so you will start accepting lies. Like they want to do your brain like this. Shake that motherfucker. Like, damn, bitch. Could you get the fuck out of here? I'm telling you. Man, too, it does not matter. You ain't off limits. You can have a Taurus nigga. You think not? They hate you like that. You can set that nigga head and see how you make that money like that. How you make that shit come together like that. Just a weird bunch of people. And they go, excuse me, be one happy family in motherfucking prison. Because they all had the same type of discrepancies. Y'all do this shit and bring it right back. That's why they hate you. The way you handle your children, they don't like that. They wish they could handle their children like that. It's, 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 and if their children like you, it causes them more pain. And then somehow they get their children to turn on you. I'm telling you, it's crazy, Virgo. It's so fucking crazy. And so childlike in the worst way. Yeah, man. And sometimes people are just astounded at the amount of pain that they caused you and how you show them love still. But you're not aware of what the fuck your, your brain don't work in a low vibrational type of way kind of shit. You don't know. You know? I just wish you well. You know? I don't know what you're doing. I don't have the time to be analyzing that shit because I'm trying to figure out what God want me to do so that I end up on the right side of history kind of situation. You feel me? Some of y'all going to end up just, once you really come to yourself and you get out of this situation and things are as real as you know that they really are outside, y'all only going to be able to stomach who y'all end up marrying, for real, for a long time. You know, can't really do large gatherings and shit like that. I'm telling you. People left y'all idle too long. Left y'all alone to yourselves too long. For real. And then said you was the weird one. Because you talk to yourself kind of shit. I talk to myself because there is no one to talk to. People ask me why, why I do what I do. Found comfort in silence and solitude. That's all. You found comfort in going outside, sitting up under a tree by yourself, and not feeling apathetic or some type of way, or like a weirdo. You just learned to enjoy your own company because everybody that was surrounding you, Virgo, was putting knives in you, honestly. Mm -hmm. Especially people related to y'all roots. Family, community. Where y'all grew up, if y'all live in the same state, whatever city y'all grew up in, people relative to who you went to high school with, junior high school with, you know, and you ain't going to no reunions, you don't think so, kind of shit, them motherfuckers, and family roots. Family could be working with them motherfuckers, you know, investing in your demise, making it a routine, putting money on the wood. Are they as good as we think they are in reading us kind of shit? I'm talking weird, Virgo. Some shit you would never come up with. Because, honey, I'm surprised I'm channeling this shit out my mouth right now. Like, whoa, this is weird. You know, when you see me do this, I'm trying to go, let's say no, and my mind don't work that way, baby. <laughs> You enjoy your own company now. Instead of sitting like that, like the wish fulfillment weirdos, you like this up under the tree, you know? They'll attack you for that. Look at this motherfucker. Loving the solitude. Posting she up under the tree, y'all. <laughs> what? Is these motherfuckers crazy? And the answer, Virgo, is yes. And it ain't you, boo-boo. It ain't you. I cross them arms and enjoy that tree like the sun card, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Tell 
taking the opportunity to let go of regrets. You already know we know that shit. Ending stagnation motivation. So your stagnation about to end. I'm telling you, you're going to be ready for the world, but you got to be ready in your own way, baby. Step it. Because y'all been working for a long motherfucking time and you ain't even realizing you wasn't getting nowhere. Because somebody was drilling holes, but the experience you got, and not because of them, but because of God, mercy, keeping you in the prayers of somebody that has some sense in their head, keeping you. After having to keep coming back from this kind of shit every five fucking minutes. But steadily learning, you know? Learning. And before you know it, you're strong. And before you know it, you know it ain't feeling sad because you ain't got no friends. I had, I don't know, it was a birthday party I had on, all of my birthdays been whack, all of them. Except for one when I went to California with a friend. Other than that, all my birthdays whack as fuck. Whack as fuck. And I advised that one because he was a Virgo. He like, okay, yeah, let's go kind of shit. I, I thought you, uh, I bet you said that shit. Thought you never asked kind of shit. Because Virgos don't begin to do shit. Y'all know that shit. Always just working and shit don't ever come together. You know what I'm saying? Always feeling like, you know, you the heavy. And it's not that. It's just people is envious of you. Yo, who you are naturally irritates their demons. It's just the way that it is. Why is it like that? I don't know. <laughs> Ask God, you know. However, I think it might have been forty. I don't know. It was a it was a turning point age, you know, a mile, a great milestone. Corny as fuck. When I say, I was looking at myself in the court like, girl, what the fuck was that? And what the fuck is this? Having a whole ass conversation because I know I ain't corny. I know I ain't whack. And I know my birthday should have turned out way better than this. And I know I should be looking better than this. Even the outfit I wore didn't fit the way I wanted it to. Like, what is going on? You know, because when you got a picture in your head as a Virgo on how you want to look, tell the truth. Don't it come out cute? If it don't come out cute, somebody tampering on beauty spells. So you end up looking corny. I'm telling you. Y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all know. Y'all know. I love y'all, Virgo. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a nice.